Yeah, no, uh, we just got to get better. Uh, teams have adjusted to, uh, you know, our front line. Um, we got to get more comfortable playing when the game's tight. You know, I think this team feels like this should be stretching away from players and uh, teams, and it hasn't happened. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to make some adjustments and do some different things up front. You said earlier in the year when games were tied in the second half, the team could always think like, hey, if we don't get our opportunities in regulation, there's still overtime to go and we'll have time to get ahead of teams. Has that mentality changed at all considering you've had two overtime losses and a couple more draws than you would like to have? Yeah, I mean, uh, we got to get, like I said, we got to get more comfortable playing. Um, I think we get more and more frantic uh, as that clock ticks down and then it's changing how you play and then in overtime you've changed how you play and uh, you know, not as comfortable as we'd like to be, um, you know, with 20 minutes left. 20 minutes is a long time. You know, uh, we once scored three goals in eight minutes on Augie. <laughs> you know, 20 minutes is a long time. And uh, um, But as that regulation clock ticks down, you can see us getting a little bit more frantic and direct. And then, you know, and then you're chasing the ball a little bit, not keeping it, you know, the, the key to us, we got to keep the ball. You started a different front three um, yesterday. Did that play out the way you thought it would? Um, you know, we want to give a couple other kids some looks. Uh, um, it really helps Sid to bring her off the bench. The first 15 minutes are kind of uh, the ball's bouncing around. It's not really on the ground. Um, you know, you end up doing a lot of pressure in both teams. You know, it's not usually conducive for either team. Everyone's flying around the field. It's kind of like a kickoff in football, you know, it's kind of chaotic. And uh, so I figured we'd look at a couple other players and then use that as a built-in sub for our, our, you know, Haley and Sophia. But, you know, they just haven't had much rhythm. They're getting doubled. Uh, and we haven't been good enough down the middle to force them out of the doubles. So, you know, we gotta, we got to make some changes and, you know, and maybe uh, we got to move Melanie uh, up higher, you know. I guess I don't know. Well, don't you know the, the expectations? I'm sure for your season were quite high, and they always are. You're not quite that, that at that point yet. Do you feel that this team? Is there something that you can point to that you know you need? Is it the personnel change, or is it the motivation, or what? What do you, you point to that? We we just got to keep getting better, and, uh, and I see things that are better, and our midfield's better, and uh, you know. Uh, our back line is dominating for long, long stretches of games. And then, you know, we have a mental error. And, uh, you know, the things we've got to fix, um, you know, uh, I certainly, you know, and we're not, we're not sitting in the position we want to be in. But if you're on the f reverse side of that looking to host us in the playoffs, I can't imagine a worse nightmare. I mean, we're a very, very talented team, and we tend to put things together in the second half of the seasons. And uh, you know, uh, we go seven and one or eight and zero in the second half. The last year we went seven zero and one, um, and really didn't even have to draw that game. We didn't play any starters in that game. <laughs> we were locked into where we were at. Um, you know, that was the last weekend. I, uh, you know. I'd hate to I'd hate to play us in the second half, uh, but you know that we've had those great second half stretches because we figured things out and fixed them, and we clearly haven't done that yet. <laughs> so that that's a big piece that's got to be fixed before uh, you know. Uh, I mean, you're not just great in the second half because people you know because it happens. It happens because of work by the players and work by the coaches, and we got to figure it out. So I've got a couple more things I want to try this this week, and we'll see. Is this correctable enough where you could let a weekend or two pass by, and then looking back, you'd be like, wow, I can't believe I was even worried about this at the end of the September based on how we're playing now? Or I don't know. Right now, I'm not, right now, I'm, well, I'm really worried. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> I, you know I, haven't, I haven't slept much. been just uh, watching and trying to learn. And I mean, but you know, when you look at it early in the year, Hunter wasn't hitting frame. Hunter's hitting frame now. I mean, that's something technically we fixed. I mean, we fixed a lot of stuff technically. Uh, it just hasn't fit together right. And, uh, 
you know, and last year we, we went from the 4-4-2 to 4-3-3, and uh, we ended up, we couldn't score a goal, we ended up breaking the record for most goals in a season and least goals allowed in a season for our team. So, you know, maybe we'll switch back. We were undefeated in the 3-5-2, you know, maybe we'll have to do that. So, uh, I'm not opposed to anything. <laughs> we'll do whatever it takes, and uh, and we'll be prepared this weekend. And you know, and uh, in reality, uh, man, we hit the crossbar five times this weekend. Uh, if two of those go in in regulation, we get six points, and the questions here are different. So, um, you know, we're we're close. We're close. Is it possible with this trajectory where the team? might fall short of regular season goals, but you could have it all together by the playoffs and still kind of hit those marks that you want to have? Yeah, I think so. You know, I mean, uh, um, I thought there were long stretches. We were just flat out better than Augie yesterday. And uh, and there were stretches that, you know, that they leaned on us. But, um, you know, uh, we're the ones, we were the ones pinging the crossbar off uh, <laughs> in regulation. I, I think we could have won that game and, uh, um, you know, and I think that they were more comfortable with the game knotted up than we were. That's something we got to work on. How about this weekend? Um, your two points, how do you feel about those matchups? They're going to be tough. I mean, uh, Concordia is really good. I picked them in the preseason poll to finish fourth and they've, uh, they've backed up my pick. Uh, um, but I mean, talent-wise, speed-wise, technic technically, we're as good as anybody. Uh, you know, we've got to get put the girls in a system that's going to work, and uh, and people have adjusted to what we're doing. So we, we got to figure it out. We got to figure it out.